It is a very special pleasure to be here uh, at this gala event organized by Copy Foundation in aid of the work of Save the Children Foundation, Nigeria. Save the Children Foundation, as you've heard, is in just shy of two decades. It's in 33 states of Nigeria and has touched the lives of close to 20 million children and their parents. The Copy Foundation, under the inspired leadership of Copy, the Fair Catedral, has actively supported children, especially in the northeast of Nigeria, and has also given general scholarships to disabled Nigerians for their university education. Mr. Femi Otedola uh, first mentioned this event to me close to a year ago. I had, all, I had asked him at the time to support the Northeast Children's Initiative, a not-for-profit chaired by Mr. G. Movia, who not only steered the Northeast Children's Fund, but has also committed the fund to providing world-class education to children who are caught in the Northeast conflict. He obliged was extremely generous to that whole effort. Today, his own donation of five billion naira to the Save the Children Foundation for use in the Northeast is probably one of the largest cash donations to a philanthropic cause in Nigeria today. I will commend him and congratulate him. And events such as this, uh, where we have a remarkable array of businessmen, politicians, captains of industry, top-rated professionals, icons of the arts and entertainment, permit me to ask a question that life has asked through the ages. It is the question, what will you be remembered for? What will you be remembered for? Perhaps I should help by noting what we will not be remembered for. No one ever remembers the number of houses, cars, or cash that anyone has, except, of course, relatives and friends who want to inherit something. Even if fame, even fame, will fade in due course. The likes of Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Aliko Dangote, and now Femi Otegola, caught that revelation and pooled their resources to solve the huge problems of extreme poverty, of healthcare for the poor, education for the poor across the world. Every day, millions of people all over the world receive immunization, emergency help, food and drugs paid for by their foundations. And many will live, many children will survive because Aliko Dangote, Bill and Melinda Gates, and Femi Otegola put their resources to help people they do not know and who they probably would never meet. By their good works, they achieve something few will ever attain. That thing is called significance. Significance is neither wealth nor fame. It is the reward that history bestows on men and women who invest their wealth, their talents, and even their lives to bring justice, freedom, life, and livelihoods to millions of the vulnerable, the oppressed, the persecuted, or the poor. These are individuals who, by their acts of personal sacrifice and their commitment to altruism and good, affirm the highest values of mankind. They demonstrate that the misery and suffering of others diminishes our individual and collective humanity, and they do all they can to end it. The reward of life, of a life of significance, is that these men and women actually live forever, because their stories and memories are embedded where they cannot be destroyed, in the hearts of men, generation after generation. The acts of kindness, that changes lives, the sacrifice that brings hope to the hopeless, the good that strengthens the weak, cannot be forgotten because they connect to the eternal God who is the meaning of 
compassion. So tonight, as we commend the Hockey Foundation and Save the Children, this event must also focus our minds on the tragically unfinished business of caring for the millions of the vulnerable, the poor, and the malnourished, especially here in our own country. In 2016, President Buhari proposed the largest social investment program of its type in Africa, budgeting 500 billion Naira, close to about 1.5 billion US dollars. Under the program, we employ 500,000 young men and women. We feed 9.3 million children every day. We give microcredits to 2 million petty traders. And 1 million of the poorest of the poor receive conditional cash transfers. Yet, we are far from where we ought to be. 1.7 million new job entrants come into the job market every year. We are 4 million pupils short of our target for school feeding, even though we are feeding 9.3 million. Millions more require microcredit. When we looked at our last estimates, we should be doing 15 million in microcredits to make the difference that we should make. We are 2 million. It's obvious that government cannot do it alone. So we don't need to be billionaires to start doing something. We certainly don't need to even be millionaires to start doing something. The likes of Copy Young, uh, a young woman, and several others, like herself, have started doing stuff, even without the millions and the billions. And I think it is time for each and every one of us to decide that we really can make a difference and make our own contribution to this cause of ensuring that the poor and the vulnerable are given a decent life and attain some dignity while they are alive. Bob Lee, quoting what a friend before he died of a terminal illness said, he said, doing something for others. And he really was talking about what you could do for others and what and why you should do it early. So he said, and I quote, he said, though none of us can go back and create a new beginning, all of us can start today to create a new ending. And I'm sure that that ending will be one that will give us all satisfaction and earn us all significance. Thank you very much. God bless you.